everybody, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do, adding images to galleries. Whoop whoop! Besides being a WordPress content creator, I'm also a photographer. So galleries are great to have when you want to display all of your photographs at once. Now, let me show you how you can do that on your WordPress site. Oh yes, before I forget, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Trust me, it won't hurt. Now, the first thing you need to do when adding a gallery onto your WordPress site, you need to create a new page. So you go to pages, add new page, and then to add the title, mine will be thumbnail ideas. So you say add media, you say create new gallery, you upload the files that you want to select, and then you wait for the files to upload. Once your selected images are uploaded, you say create new gallery, and then over to link to, you say media files. This is where you get the arrows on the two sides so that you can browse through your images freely. I'm just gonna make the columns by four, you choose the thumbnail size, I'm going to say medium, and then you say insert gallery. Now when you click on preview, you will see that your gallery images are displayed like this. And then when you click onto the image, you will see that your two arrows on the sides are right over here. These arrows help to go through your images quite easily. And if you're happy with that, you go to edit page, and then all you do is hit publish. Now if you go into the front end, you will see that your image gallery is right over here. Let's click onto it. And you're scrolling through your images quite smoothly. So the second way to add a gallery or images onto your WordPress site is using the plugin called Elementor. So what you do is you go to plugins, you say add new plugins, you search for edit with Elementor. This is the plugin you want. Mine is already installed and activated. So all you do is click install now and activate. You go to the Elementor tab, you say settings, and then you choose the post types where you'd like the Elementor edits to be. I said pages, or you can click both or landing pages. Then once you're happy, you say save changes. I would like to add an image onto my About Us. So edit with Elementor. And what you do is you can drag your widget over here. So what I'll do is I will drag the image that I want. It will first look like this, but that's all good. And once you're done dragging the image, you say choose image. And you select the image that you want. You say insert media and you'll see that the image is inserted over here. And then you choose the size. I'm just going to say medium. And then if you would like to add a caption, that's totally up to you. I will center align it. And then when you link it, you say you click on to media file. When the light box pops up, this is so that you have the arrows if you have more than one image. So I will say yes. And then once you're done, you can have a bit of a preview to see how it looks onto your front end. Actually, no, let's make the image large. So I'm going to make the image large. And then if you click on to preview, you'll see that the image is quite large. And then once you're happy about it, all you do is say update. And then when you refresh the page again, you will see that the image size has changed. And then when you click onto the image, this is how it will look. And then if you have more than one image, your arrows should be here onto the side. And that's how you add an image or a gallery using Elementor. Yes, now that you're done adding your gallery to your WordPress site, your site will be giving structure, fabulosity, main character energy, and that's what we need. And on that note, in my next video, I'll show you which plugins to use for more gallery options. So keep that notification button on. That's it for the video. If you have any questions or suggestions on which video to do next, leave us a comment below. I'm leaving you with peace, love, and happiness. Until next time, bye.